Africa's most active volcano has erupted. This is Niamolagira volcano, which is in the Democratic Republic of Congo, uh, as we know it, Congo, in Africa's Rift Valley. This is a shield volcano over 3,000 meters high, 3 kilometers high. That's uh, from the sea level, of course, with a very big uh, lava pool and a crater which is bigger than that even. It can take more. And when it pa in the past it has erupted, it has blocked the roads and caused, you know, death and damage to the nearby town of Goma. As you can see, this was a very dangerous eruption in that sense. It's one of the most active volcanoes in the Africa. When it erupts over the last um, 100 years, people, you know, have to move out of its way. This is the last eruption, as you can see here. It has crossed the road. It's almost burning with the sulfur uh, flame. It's kind of blue, like what we see in the uh, Indonesia, in one of those volcanoes, exotic volcanoes. This is an exotic volcano in the sense, because it's not uh, related to subduction. It's a rift valley. African rift valley is forming in that area. Africa is the mother of the earth. It's where the most uh, of the earth's stability is like an anchor uh, uh, is, is there. And then... In the, in the eastern part of it, this rift valley is forming is a normal fault area where the pulling apart of the crust of the earth, lithosphere, has created uh, practically cracks in the ground. As these cracks develop, uh, normal faults on both sides of this uh, valley forms, as you can see here. It means drop down of the rock layers downward and creates this escarpment. Scorpions appear as a high mountains and hills. In the middle of this rift valley, we will have volcanoes. And that is where we have the, uh, this uh, beautiful volcano, dangerous in a way. You saw the escarpment there. And the volcano is forming in this setting, in this val rift valley, where the pressure is removed from the mantle. The uh, mantle is slightly rises, but is buoyant. Rises like a piece of wood that you pre press it down, then you remove the pressure, it bounces back. When it's bouncing back, during that bouncing back and opening up of the lithosphere, the crust of the earth, we have these cracks and the magma is rising, it starts to melt. When it melts, it creates these magma chambers and eventually volcanoes like a pimple pr 